Number 37, letter A. Suppose a blood vessel's radius is decreased to 90% of its original value by plaque deposits and the body compensates by increasing the pressure difference along the vessel to keep the flow rate constant. By what factor must the pressure difference increase? All right. So um, take a look at number also 34. All right. I talked about how to use this equation, set it all up to create the ratios I'm going to do now. So basically, I'm just going to you know, do the shorthanded version. So I'm trying to compare radius... Um, uh, to pressure difference, right? So I noticed that here is pressure difference, okay, and here is radius. So I realize that they are on the same side of the equation. So what I can write here is I can write that the pressure difference multiplied by the radius raised to the fourth power, and this I could state for both original cases, all right, or initial cases, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this should equal now the uh, pressure differential, okay, of the new case multiplied by the radius of the new case raised to the fourth power. All right, now they want us to find the pressure difference. So in other words, uh, oh, and it says by what factor must the pressure difference increase? So if you were to think about this, if the radius goes down, right, if you're looking at the formula over here, if R goes down and we want to maintain the same flow rate, what must happen to P? The pressure differential it has to go up, right? If, 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 if you told me that here's Q, 10, right, is equal to the pressure differentials 2 and the radius, let's just say, for, I know it's raised to the fourth power, but forget about, let's just pretend it says 5, right? This is true, right? That 2 times 5 will equal 10. This is Q, this is the pressure differential, this is R. If you now mention that the flow rate stays the same and R now will go down, Let's pretend it goes down to a value of one, making it up. What must the pressure go to in order to compensate for the change? Well, it has to become 10 now, right? So if you notice, R goes down, pressure has to go up. That's all I'm trying to illustrate uh, with this discussion. So that being the case, let me just erase this. So that being the case, we know that if the new radius is smaller than the old, that means the new pressure will be larger than the old, correct? So PN must be greater than PO. Now, if I'm looking for the factor uh, by which the pressure difference increases, I'm looking for the ratio of the new pressure to the old pressure, okay? This would tell me how much it increases by, right? Because the new is greater than the old. So if the new were, let's say, five, and the, and the old were, I don't know, 2.5, then we would say that the pressure, uh, the new pressure went up by a factor of two, okay? So what I need to do is solve that here uh, for P sub N over P sub O. So realizing that I'm gonna divide out my delta P sub O from both sides, right? So because I'm gonna create this little ratio. But remember, I wanna solve for this, so that means I gotta bring this bad boy on over to the other side as well, right? So essentially now divide this on out by R sub N to the fourth and divide this out by R sub N to the fourth, okay? And we are now left with this equation, R sub O to the fourth over R sub N to the fourth will equal uh, delta P sub N over delta P sub O. This is our variable of interest now, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna reorganize this. They're both raised to the fourth power so I can simply kind of remove that fourth power and not remove it, but just kind of reorganize it here so that I can take this fraction and raise the whole fraction to the fourth instead of having two fourth powers there. So this is delta P sub N over delta P sub O. So what I now want to investigate is I realize that it tells me in the first part, it says the radius is decreased to 90% of its original value. So how do I write that out in terms of a mathematical statement? Well, it says that the new radius is going to be equal to the old radius multiplied by 90% because the new radius is 90% of its original value. You can think about this like, you know, and saying in terms of like money, if you know, if you had like $100 in your bank account, right? And it, now it decreased to 90% of what it was originally, you'd say, oh, I have $90. All right. So it's kind of it's kind of just, you know, intuitive here a little bit. So we can take this now and plug that on in for R sub n. When we do that, and I'm gonna do it over here on the right-hand side, we now get RO over RO times 0 0.9. This whole thing raised to the fourth power, that's gonna be equal to now delta P sub N over delta P sub O. Now notice what happens to the ROs, they go bye-bye. All right, now we're left with one over 0 0.9, 
raised to the fourth power will be equal to delta p sub n over delta p sub o. This is now what we can calculate. All right, so plug that on into the calculator. So now we're going to take 1 divided by 0.9 and raise that to the fourth power. And looky here, we have 1.52 or so, right? 1.52, 1.52 will be equal to delta p sub n over delta p sub o. You can put this over 1 if you like. It might help you interpret it. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that whatever the, orig whatever the original pressure was, the new pressure has to be 1.52 times that original pressure value. That's what it's telling us. So if the old pressure was 100, then the new pressure will be 152. So notice a very small percent change in the radius, 90% of its original value, meaning it decreased by 10%, right? The, the wording is always confusing when it says decreased to 90%. So I'm going to say decreased to 90% is the same thing as saying decreased by 10%. All right, you should definitely want to know this relationship because a lot of times in problems, it's very confusing. The only difference between the two is the, these, this word. All right, they both mean the same thing though. So notice, I'm going to frame it this way because I think it means, it means something a little more. Uh, or or it, it gives you a better perspective. The radius of your artery only has to decrease by 10% of its original value, uh, 10%, right? It has to decrease by 10%. If that happens and everything else has remained the same, the pressure increase now in that vessel or the pressure produced by your heart essentially has to now go up one and a half times or 1.5 times. That's a big difference, right? Okay, so now you can start to get the idea of why plaque buildup and all that stuff is quite dangerous. It's because small changes in the radius of an artery lead to big changes in terms of the pressure needed to maintain the same flow rate, right? Your body's still, your, your cells are still utilizing oxygen at the same rate to help keep you alive. So we still have to somehow get the same flow essentially to the cells. But now we have more resistance in place because the radius has gone down. And what compensates for that? Well, either, either you die, right, if the heart doesn't compensate, or the heart compensates by pumping harder. The harder the heart works, the, the more friction, the more, uh, well, yeah, I, you could just say more friction, right? The more friction uh, that the heart is undergoing, right, it's going to then degrade faster, et cetera, just like a car, right? You drive your car harder. It's not going to last you as long. So please, everyone, just try to take care of yourselves as best as possible. And um, yeah, science. Cool. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right. Appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Bye.